So I'm two weeks into the uh, carnivore diet and I've already kind of strayed off. Um, I'm actually turning more into a faster than um, a carnivore person. Now they do match very well together because uh, first let me just explain very quickly about fasting. So there's three main reasons why people fast and when I say fast I mean usually water fasting. So that's uh, mostly water and or electrolytes zero calories during the day um, and then you try and extend it as long as you can. So I tried a 60 hour fast. It started off as a 48 hour and I was too lazy to eat dinner so I slept through and then had breakfast the next day so it was a two and a half day fast. Uh, three main reasons for fasting. Number one, weight loss. Clearly when you don't eat anything at all it's a great way of cutting weight uh, but that is very tricky because you have to be careful how you refeed when you break your fast because you can gain it all back like that if you're not careful. The second reason is for longevity, so that's just living longer, being overall healthier, um, trying to get rid of all those toxins from your body and all that stuff. Number three is gut health, so if you're having any stomach problems, the digestion issues, things like that, it allows your stomach to heal and the bacteria to grow back so they can better handle things. And uh, a good old break is just the cure often. The way I'm doing the fast, I am uh, continuing to have one or two cups of coffee a day and I'm having the electrolytes and I think I'll have like apple cider vinegar because I am triggering digestive juices and stuff when I drink coffee. Um, the gut health probably won't have any time to repair, but the main reasons I'm doing this are still there. So I'm all good. I'm all gravy. The fact that I was doing carnivore diet was a perfect transition because the first step they usually tell you to do is go on a very low to zero carb diet so that you can get rid of a lot of your existing withdrawal symptoms. Then the only thing left is, um, you know, just the lack of pure energy later on. Now, it's kind of interesting because you store so much fat and you go into this like heavy ketosis. So ketosis, once again, is where you're taking energy from fat sources instead of from carbs, uh, which are stored in glycogen in your muscles. I think that's how it works. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Clearly, after going two and a half days already, and I lived, um, it was getting those calories and that energy from somewhere else. So it's all that fat inside of me being used as energy. And that's kind of how it works. So, um, and uh, it doesn't seem to have too much of an impact on strength or muscle because I actually worked out while I was fasting. And uh, my strength held up, although my endurance was quite a bit low. Uh, day two is the worst day though. Um, and I actually did feel much better on that third morning, that half a day that I fasted. Uh, so maybe there's something to it, just pushing through and getting getting through that initial barrier. So I am on a 72 hour fast now and um, let's see what happens. Very quickly, let's talk about my weight loss in general though from the very beginning. So this morning I woke up, uh, I think it was 83.6 kilograms. I had gained a little bit. So my lowest was I believe 83.2 or one that was uh, in my peak of fasting and then I spent the last two days eating but uh, kind of more one meal a day and very very low carb now last night I had my first blowout oh, it was horrible I hit the two-week mark uh, there was some food there I just couldn't resist and yeah it was really bad I felt guilty and I felt weak because um, I've been so motivated and I'm doing this for such an important cause but um, I'm back on it though, so the 72 hour fast will hopefully clean out whatever damage I've done to my system and then let me get back on it. And I think there's a lesson to learn in that guys, just get right back on it and you'll survive. The blowouts happen sometimes unplanned, sometimes planned. You know, if you have a big event coming up or a birthday, that's fine. Um, and that we just have to be realistic, don't we? So uh, I only gained 0.1 kilograms as a result of that blowout, but we'll see. Maybe, I mean, sometimes it takes a couple of days before it really hits the scale. But anyway, I'll be fasting all day today, tomorrow, and the day after, because I'm trying to go three in a row. The plan is to do a 72-hour fast, a very small refeed, which is almost pure fat and protein, and then get back on another 72-hour fast, and then the weekend kind of relax a little more. I think I'm definitely going to relax back into a keto style diet, not a carnivore. So I might introduce avocados, nuts, a couple of other things just to mix it up. Some very, very low carb uh, vegetables, but I'm not going to go all out. I'm not going to have like a crazy cheat meal or um, any like serious carbs or starchy veggies. Or... That's the plan at least. <laughs> Let's find out. Hey, I was too lazy to do a weigh in and a video side by side. It's only been a week anyway. Uh, let's give it some more time. Maybe I'll just do that again at the end of the month. But I'm feeling changes in my body. I feel like I look different. I'm, I'm 
it's getting more definition. I'm gonna change the way I work out. I'm gonna try and get a lot more low intensity, a lot more inclined walking, a little bit of body weight exercises to kind of keep my muscles. Let's see where this all goes, guys. I mean, to be honest, if I can hit my target weight of 75 kilograms within two months, why not? And then just try and maintain from there. That might actually be easier for me or build a little bit more. At least I'm taking the beating and then whatever I figure out, I can pass on to people who don't have time to, for trial and error and abusing themselves. I really think there's something into this facet though, guys. Watch this space. All right, so I'm screen recording my mobile. You can see I try and get all my fitness apps all together in one place. Um, first, I want to show you the Zero app. It's freaking amazing. So it tracks my fasting. So you can see uh, at the top there how many people are fasting along with me over 580,000 as we speak. Yay, I'm not alone. I'm on a 72-hour fast. Uh, 15 hours and 15 minutes into it. So only 21% of the fast done because I'm trying to do three days. Uh, you can also flip it where you can see how many hours are remaining. So you can either look at how many you've done or how many are remaining just by clicking on the screen. So it's really good. Uh, also this level, I don't know if you can see catabolic written under the timer. So it tells you what uh, zone you're in. So catabolic will turn into fat burning zone, I think around like the 16, 18 hour mark. And then around the 24 hour mark, it says ketosis, which is where supposedly all of your energy is coming purely from fat. So that's the, the goal, to get into ketosis and then stay there as long as you physically can. As long as you're in ketosis, boom, you're just eating up unnecessary energy. So that's one of my uh, big apps. The other one here is my Eufy Life, just to talk you through some of my uh, weights. So let's look at the history here. And once again, the scale automatically sends all this data to my phone, which is really helpful because the Eufy Life scale links in with an app to the phone, so I don't have to write anything down or track it. Uh, and then even that links into Google Fit, which then links into the Zero app. So it's all like linked in together. I'm such a nerd, aren't I? So this whole deal started on February 21st, uh, 90.1 kilograms. So you can see that I went to 88.8, 87.3, 86.2, 86 86.1, 86 85.4, 85.2. So I start slowing down here. I even gained a little bit, 85.3 on carnivore. Uh, so that's when I said, you know what, on March 1st, I think I was like, let's start fasting. I need to see those numbers. I knew it would slow down, but it was really motivating me and I was suffering and I felt bad. So I was like, no, I need to see the numbers continue. So I planned a 48 hour fast. So you can see here I was 85.1 on March 3rd and then I dropped to 84.0. That was my first night of fasting. 83.4 is my second night of fasting. And then this was my first refeed day. So um, I ate before weighing in on March 6th um, and I was pretty behaved you know uh, I was doing mostly carnivore style food and I only gained 0.1 kg I gained another 0.1 kg the next day because March 7th is when I had my blowout and I was eating sweets and all sorts of crap potato chips and it was horrible and disgusting but uh, I'm still okay so tomorrow morning hopefully uh, after my first night of fast I'm hoping to still be around the same weight, if not maybe even go back into losing mode. Let's see. Let's see. But those are some of my apps that have been keeping me alive during this fast. 